This road in the St Mary's area of Southampton isn't the most obvious link to Hampshire cricket's history, but this is where the Hampshire that we know today was spawned. So this is Graham Road in the centre of Southampton Day. This ran right through the old antelope ground. Yeah, we believe it did. That's absolutely right. And uh, of course there was cricket here and football as well, so it was probably a pretty expansive space from what we can see of the, uh, of the old maps. Hampshire up sticks to Northlands Road in 1885. After a successful season with the bat in 1899, Hampshire's major Robert Poor attracted the attention of the national selectors, but not how you might think. Before the season ended, he was dispatched to South America, where he had to buy horses for the British Army, which he then transported to South America, uh, to South Africa, uh, and then participated in the Boer War. And we didn't really see a lot of him after that. <laughs> Extraordinary man. Just after poor, Phil Mead's record from the early 1900s of 49,000 Hampshire runs is still the most by a batsman for any single county. The Northlands Road ground is now a residential development, but the memories of playing there and other duties live on. There were two scoreboards and we used to take it in turns which one you had to man on a match day. So you, there they were, uh, whether it was Gary Sobers, um, uh, Greg Chappell, Ian Chappell, you were right on top and that was the great thing about the, the, the ground was the fact that it was so close to the, to the action. Hampshire's two championship wins in 1961 and 1973 also came during the Northlands Road years, including the likes of Gordon Greenwich. Probably the, the second finest batsman I've ever seen. Um, Barry Richards was probably the first and watching them open up together was uh, something very, very special. Life at the Aegeus Bowl began in 2001 and it's now developed into a world-class international venue and soon with an indelible nod to the formative years. We're working hard on um, just designing a museum that we're going to probably have open at some point next year which will tie in with the anniversary and bring it all together in one place. So while the club's current stars will be spared the Boer War, Hampshire's 150-year innings is very much a work in progress.